scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. So when he resurrected, a woman came and met him. This solves the problem once and for all should women be in ministry. The first person to see Christ resurrected was a woman. He says, go and tell Jesus, go and do ministry. Go and tell. He's the one who instructed her. Go and tell. There is a protocol to it though. The Bible always says they do it in subjection. But to negate now, when it has to do with the ministry of the word, there is neither male nor female. There's neither Jew nor Gentile. It's one new man in Christ. Are we blessed now? Please pay attention. These are the truths that give you a defense system against Satan. The Bible says no weapon fashion. Do you know what it means to fashion? To fashion means to write a summary of your strengths and your weaknesses and build an arsenal from your weakness. So when the devil wants to attack, he does not just come. He fashions the weapon. What do you not know? What is not known in your church? Oh, you don't know this. You don't know this. Build the weapon after this weakness. It says no weapon fashioned. Are we together? When Jesus Christ resurrected, listen to me, the Bible says he was raised up for our justification. What does it mean to be justified? To be declared not guilty. But his resurrection was not all there was. If he, was, if he resurrected and he stopped there, we are saved from sin but we are still in trouble. Because he needed to go to heaven to perform his high priestly duty. Remember, he said, no, don't touch me. Don't corrupt the program. I need to ascend to heaven. So he went there both as the lamb and as the high priest, the Bible tells us. Because according to the Jewish tradition, the age of the lamb determines the validity of the atonement. So for it to be an eternal atonement, the ageless lamb, he now became the lamb. He used his own age now. So for you to know how long the atonement is, is to know the age of the lamb that died. You see that now. And when he was done, a coronation service was held for him in heaven. The Lord said to my Lord, sit down at my right hand. That was a coronation service. Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5. Permit this mind to be in you, the Bible says, which was also in Christ Jesus. Who although being God did not consider it robbery, this and that. But that he died the death on the cross. And the Bible says wherefore by reason of this god had so highly exalted him and given him a name the name is an office he gave him an office and that office was exalted above every other name that at the mention of that name every knee listen if you don't know this your members will not be powerful in jesus name in jesus name it's not what you are saying it's the understanding that supports that activity that releases the power please let me have four people just come let me use you four any four gentlemen come watch this just stand here look at this everybody do you know what jesus did 
just just stand facing me thank you thank you sirs imagine that i am a phd holder but the limitation is that i have phd alone are we together and then my assignment is to make all these guys phd holders but they don't have the strength to go through that system so what i did was i gave up my phd i went back to nursery school remember i always had it i went back to nursery school and then i just told them follow me closely i started come guys and then when i now got to masters just when i was going to write the phd exam i said hold on before you give me that exam guys everything i'm going to be doing is for us i changed the name from me to us now i wrote that exam the examiner did not even know what was happening as soon as i got the phd phd appeared on all of them and i took them here come i took them back to where i originally was so you will ask so you had phd why did you leave it and get it again because of these guys i had it alone but i didn't want to have it alone that's what jesus did everything he now has he always had but the question is alone so he came back gave up everything and started afresh this time around with you in covenant this is what paul understood he says we have been raised up and we have been made to sit back where he always was but now together with him above far above thrones dominions every name that is named not only in this world but in the world to come this is the gospel thank you if you do not understand this it didn't make sense for jesus to leave the glory he had with the father come back and get it back why do a coronation service was he not always lord alone this is where the love of the father is revealed please sit down what then is the gospel of salvation let me tell you the gospel of salvation is a revelation of the father's love revealed in and through the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus his son man being the zenith the object of that love alongside creation the law is that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have zoe is called not just eternal life everybody has eternal life what we're giving is not eternal life it was an error in translation eternal life means life without end everybody keeps living even after this world when you preach you don't ask people will you spend eternity the question is location they will spend eternity Let's finish our Apostles' Creed. Can we have it again? The Bible says, He's seated at the right hand of the Father. From thence He shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church. The word Catholic there does not necessarily mean Roman Catholic. It means the universal church. If you don't believe the body of Christ, you will never have balance in your life. There are four encounters you must have to be a balanced believer and a balanced minister. One, the encounter with the Son of God. Two, the encounter with the office and the person of the Holy Spirit. Three, the encounter with the Word of God. Four, the encounter with the body of Christ. I believe in the body of Christ. I believe in the communion of the saints. I believe in the forgiveness of sins. I believe in the resurrection of the body. I believe in the everlasting life. This, for me, is a very fair representation of the believer's creed. There are many other expressions of it across different ministries. But I'm saying that we need to return back to doctrine and discipleship. Don't just ordain people because they have stayed long in church. And you say, just keep watching. Prepare for the next because of course i know that we need more people we need to send more laborers but we have to be careful this is the reason why we continue to send people who have not been worked on on the spirit and after one two years they keep causing us pain because they carry their flesh and their limitation and they now impede a work that you've invested so much in hallelujah 
we have to pray we've not even done church growth I had promised us that we would do church growth unfortunately we may not I'm not sure that we may have that time but can I just run through four keys to church growth please be patient I know that we have service many of us need to go and prepare the key to church growth is found in Mark chapter 1 Mark chapter 1 now there are different there are different perspectives when it has to do with church growth now that we understand that we should focus on the exegesis of doctrine our experiences and our personalized dealings can only just be support systems but we must return to the doctrine of scripture that builds that matures that makes mark chapter 1 let's begin our reading from verse 21 please mark chapter 1 and verse 21 we are learning the principles of church growth by studying the ministry of Jesus himself. Be patient as we read. Ready? The Bible says, And they went into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue. Help me. And so keep that in place. We are studying Jesus now. He entered the synagogue and the Bible tells us what he did there. He taught. We see teaching as part of the key. Next verse. And they were astonished at his doctrine. So we know what he taught. What did he teach? Doctrine. Pay attention. We are piecing together the keys that make for church growth. Irrefutable keys that will work for anyone, regardless ministry, regardless what dimension of the fivefold you are involved with. The Bible says, for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. Next verse, please. The Bible says, and there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. Take note now. This is church. And the Bible says, and he cried out, saying, let us alone. What have we to do with you, Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him, saying, hold your peace and come out of him. So we see Jesus casting out demons, 26. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. As a result, the Bible says, and they were all amazed. How many were amazed? Please talk to me. There are certain things that when they happen on earth, men can never commonize them. It is not given to men to trivialize certain manifestations of the power of God. It will always compel people to know that God is at work in a place. Follow carefully. They were astonished among themselves saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commanded he even the unclean spirits and they do obey him. Take note. We are studying Jesus now. What happened immediately? Please look up believers. And immediately his fame spread abroad throughout the region round about Galilee. So here is a man who came in as an individual into a temple. He did certain things. And by the next day, the whole city is talking about him. We are talking of growth here. The principles. And forthwith, when they were come out of the synagogue, he entered into the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. 30 and simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever and anon they take him uh-huh and he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up and immediately the fever left and she ministered unto them now you watch this the difference between this miracle and the one that happens in a crusade ground is that this is happening among church workers we are examining the key to church growth it is easy to preach in a crusade and have wheelchairs stand up and your workers are saying we've not experienced this thing ourselves he came to peter's house and the same power worked there do you know what it means for your workforce to believe in you to know that this anointing does not just work for strangers this grace also works here it is on the strength of their conviction everyone who comes he knows that you're not just acting 32 and at evening 
when the sun did set hallelujah they brought unto him don't ask people to come find out whether you can do something about what they are coming with they brought unto him would you love members like this brothers and sisters these are the kind of members who are calling do you love members like this lord i want increase get ready for these people these are the kinds of people coming are we ready number one all that were diseased number two all that were possessed with devils don't think god is just going to send made people oh no you want increase you must be ready for work these were the people who came to jesus 33 and the city hallelujah you want the city to be gathered let me describe how the city looks for you there are a few intelligent people there are a few wealthy people and many sick people and many broke people and many confused people and many angry people and many jealous people and many possessed people and the bible mandates that you welcome them could there be a reason why increase is not coming it's an act of god's mercy and warning to you you really want this are you prepared 34 look jesus now he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him be patient with me we're almost there the bible says and the impact over those people were so much in the morning what a man how would you finish such a spectacular crusade and have the gods to go back and leave people and pray i show you the secret to church growth can you enjoy such fame and such glamour a few hours earlier and have the audacity to go away from all the press men and leave everybody and say i'm going back to where the power came from I wish we had time to walk these things i'm just summarizing the bible says and in the morning rising up a great while before day he went out and departed into a solitary place a world that loves to be celebrated to be seen will you have that time when people come for a crusade ground for a crusade and there are wheelchairs crutches will you still be able to go back and say lord your boy is still here i'm not confused you used me but i'm still here again 36 and simon and all they that were with him followed him when you have results people will do what you do and when they had found him they said unto him may this be your testimony all men you've heard me say it there are things when you carry only the rich look for you there are things when you carry only the poor look for you there are things when you carry only the educated look for you. There are things when you carry only young people look for you. There are things you carry only the older people look for you. But there are graces when you can get in the place of prayer. All men. All men. Including your partners. All men. Including your helpers. Including your lieutenants. All men. Including destiny helpers. All men seek for thee a few more verses and we're done and he said unto them let us go into the next towns that i may preach there also so we see preaching for therefore came i forth next verse he preached in their synagogues throughout all galilee and again we see him repeating it he casted out devils uh-huh and there came a leper to him beseeching him and kneeling down before him saying unto him if thou wills thou can make me clean read on please the bible says and jesus moved with compassion put forth his hand and touched him and said to him i will be thou clean next verse and as soon as he had spoken immediately the leprosy departed from him and he was cleansed and straightly charged him and forthwith sent him away 44 and said unto him see that thou say nothing to any man but go thy way show yourself to the priest offer for your cleansing the things which moses commanded and for a testimony that man was too grateful to be silent next verse 
but he went about if it is a genuine miracle not even your humility will stop people from letting the city know jesus begged this man and said look i i know what the crowds would do but the man was too grateful he began to publish it much and to blaze abroad the matter in so much that jesus could no more openly enter into the city but was without in the desert place and they came to him from every quarter in the name of jesus christ from today by the power of the holy spirit from all over this city everywhere people must come to to hear the counsel of the lord in your life i call them forth in jesus name please sit down church growth jesus preached the gospel jesus taught scripture he taught the word jesus performed the he allowed for extraordinary manifestations of miracles signs wonders including the casting out of devils the healing of the sick jesus used the power and the principles of the kingdom alongside the prophetic to provide supernatural solutions to the needs of men whoever does this it is impossible to be alone now you preach the gospel you teach the word an accurate exegesis of scripture then you allow for the unusual manifestation of miracles signs and wonders let the sick be healed let the oppressed be delivered but people are not only sick and oppressed you will need to engage the principles of the word and the power of the prophetic to provide supernatural solutions to the need of men this was the template jesus gave us I know that there are books about church growth and I show my profound respect. But believe me with all humility, the man standing before you has experienced the mercy of God on that wise. I'm not speaking in ignorance. I know what it means to experience a city come to hear the counsel of the Lord upon your life. There is no such thing as I was destined to be small. No. Our call is a high calling and it's a noble call. Are we together now? Within the few minutes that we have, we are going to pray. And I trust God that something from heaven will come upon us. We have come as several men and women of God. Some of you have served in the kingdom for a very long time. We have fathers of faith here, veterans of the gospel who have spent decades lifting up the name of Jesus. I saw so many people outside, so many inside. There are so many following from every nation and i know that you have come to hear but you have also come to receive i wish i had time to teach on the supernatural ministry because there is nobody who is called to do ministry ordinarily no it's like saying you want to light a matchbox you want to light matches with water no you can't light matches by rubbing the matchbox on water it would not work is that true so saying my own ministry is an ordinary ministry it's not so the gospel is the power of god even unto salvation there needs to be miracles signs and wonders it is true that not all of us may operate at the same frequency but it's important that we're committed to teaching the gospel preaching the gospel clearing what jesus has done to the end that men be saved then we teach the word we teach scriptures in a methodical and intelligent life applicable manner that will cause all and sundry to listen and you can find the point of action from your gospel they can take that truth and by the next day they are willing to apply it and then to see it work nobody leaves what works but in all your teaching and preaching you must know that there is a dimension of the supernatural that must be captured in your ministry. Signs and wonders are powerful. They let men know that God is with you. They let men know that God is alive. Miracles, healings. 
deliverances but more than that people need to experience supernatural solutions this is where the value of a man of god is most times society frowns at ministers as though we're a nuisance to civilization we are valuable our value is spiritual in context number one we are connecting people to faith number two we are bringing ideas that are referenced from scripture that help to build their understanding build the moral the moral fabric of society and then to help people achieve results the key to fulfillment is progress. People must know that their lives are finding meanings while they live. And the church is that bridge of hope. And then we stand in partnership with the Holy Spirit to provide supernatural solutions to the needs of men. That is value. Deserving of a reward. Deserving of honor. So you're a man of God. You have to stand tall. Do not allow society and the context of culture and the status quo bully you into thinking you are just a nuisance. A wicked nuisance to live in. Shut down the church for one year and see what becomes of society. Where will the power come from? Where will the intercession come from? Where will the counsel and the guidance come from? When will the building and the maturing come from? We are valuable always. No wonder he calls us the salt of the earth. He calls us the light of the world. He says, we are a city that is set on a hill. Neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel. But right now for tonight, we have to stop here. And pray that something from heaven comes upon us. We took our time to cry a cry of repentance in the morning for purging, for cleansing, so that God will redirect our minds. Can I tell you this? I believe with all my heart that there are some of you, what you are doing now compared to what you will be doing from now is just a rehearsal. By the time the power of God comes upon you, you will do ministry in a way that will bring glory to the name of the Lord and will bring honor to you, the vessel. There is no limit to how far we can go in Christ. But you are only a blessing not just when men come, but when they live with joy. Jesus said, do not leave them to go hungry. Who else can feed them? They said, no, 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 we cannot afford this. And they brought five loaf and two fish, turned it and fed all of them. Simon Bajona, do you love me more than this? Prove that you love me by feeding my sheep and feeding my lamb. By the time weak people come to your church and one month just one month under your mentorship the kind and the quality of spiritual information that you communicate backed up by the supernatural power of the holy spirit they return with strange testimonies a family that no door has opened for for 15 years they meander into your church just on a week a midweek service just five minutes prayer they return back and all those begin to open as though they were programmed they will say like that woman come see a man come see a man let me tell you this do not downplay the power of personal testimony it's one thing to bring an arbitrary testifier that nobody knows when a popular madman in portacourt comes under the influence of the power of god fire falls from heaven during your crusade ground and that person becomes your chief usher everybody knew him when he was lying down now he's the chief usher how dare the devil say the power of god is not in your assembly listen to me believers men and women of god with all due respect i came to challenge you tonight there is more that we need to do across the south south across portacourt here there is so much we need to upgrade to a higher level of power and fire there are principalities the arsenals of darkness continue to group themselves to see that they discredit the power of god god is saying where are the people that must arise that every altar by sunday is blazing with fire regardless the denomination these demons as they are leaving this assembly they want to land on this church fire is sending them again There is an avalanche of salvation. People on the streets breaking down and wondering what is wrong. You just shook hands with a man of God you met at the marketplace. And just that handshake destroyed 10 years captivity.
then God leads you to someone you pray for him the Lord bless you and a contract that has been tied for 10 years 15 years all of the monies is released he will be too grateful to forget you can i tell you how funding comes from ministry listen there's no point hiding it it's, it's not some superstitious things the blessing of the lord comes from those who have been impacted by that grace don't look for wealthy people make them through the grace of god upon your life that someone comes and in two weeks whilst he's loving the Lord whilst he's knowing the Lord a promotion that is due 10 years for some tribal sentiments and the fire that comes from your altar burns that chaff into pieces that man is lifted and promoted the man will vow and say as you move I move with you whatever is your project just let me know can I tell you this everybody on earth including those who have been greedy to you they are givers they only have not considered you to be worth their giving the same person who will refuse to give you money and fund your ministry will come back to a man of god and say sir can i have the privilege of giving you 100 million for the church project he was not greedy you are just not on fire enough to be worth his money hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.